Uh, good evening, every one of you. How are you doing? Welcome to our channel, a Global Solution for All Mankind. I'm happy this evening to join you again, share with you some spiritual information that you need to learn and you need to know so that it can be a blessing to your life. There are many things that we can solve ourselves uh, if we have this knowledge of the natural things that are surrounding our life daily. All these things are blessing to us and I'm sure very serious that God is going to use them to give you most of you you are going to get a lot of advantage a lot of solutions as you join with me on this uh, global solution for all mankind this video so i'm happy to share with you this evening uh, you are welcome to global solution for all mankind it's a place where this evening i want to give one of the powerful secret on what you can do using uh, one of the natural uh, product of the land to help your life or to solve some cases and issues that are surrounding your life every day. Now I want to talk about on how to uh, restore a man or a woman who is your lover or who is your wife or your husband and a person has left you. I want to talk about how to return the person. A man who is your husband or your wife or a lover that has left you and you need a person to come back. I'm going to talk about that. The second thing I'm going to talk about is how to secure the person that is planning to leave you, not to leave you. How to retain the person or need the person together so that the person will not be able to leave you again. Okay? The number three, I will talk on this video on how to secure your position of work so that that arrogant boss, the, uh, the boss, if you have a wicked boss and is planning to suck you or, plan, or they have sucked you and you want the person to return you on work, now you will follow this video. Here are three things I want to put here. So this video is going to be very, very rich. It's going to be full of knowledge. It's going to be full of wisdom and secrets information revealed. And the process is going to be very, very interesting. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so that uh, it will be a benefit for you to listen and to hear many things that you can do to help you on different matters every day as we encounter in this life. You are welcome. If you are first time you are joining this channel, my name is Dr. Wilson Tayo. I'm the director of this Global Solution for All Mankind. And my purpose on this channel is to give spiritual tips on how you can solve different cases in life, both spiritually and physically using the natural things under the authority of the word and the power of God. You are welcome. Now, the only thing that you will need, you will need this product. This is an empty shell. It's a house that is housing the uh, snail. So this is a, a shell of a snail, but you need an empty one. You don't need the one that is full of snail. You need a house. You don't need the snail. You need a house of a snail. So this is a house of a snail. It's called a shell. Okay? This is what you need. What are you going to do with this uh, house of snail? Now let's start to the person that your lover has left to you and you want the person to come back. Your husband or your wife or your beloved one that you want the person to come back. Get a plain paper. Get a plain paper and write the name 
of the person that you want the person to call back. Then write your name also on that paper, plain paper. Then after you write your names and the names of the person you want the person to come back. Now, write one point, the reason why you want the person to come back. For example, you, my husband, so, 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 you must come back and live with me politely. Restore back your life to me. Come back, let's continue to live together as long as we live. Let's live together. You will not leave me alone. Come back to my life and build your life together with my life. So you need a person to come back to continue relationship. You write the same. If you is a it's a man that you want the person to come and marry you, maybe you are just dating, you are not uh, married, and the person delete you, and now you want the person to come back and marry you, write that information. So there are three things that you have to write. Your names, the name of the person, and the reason why you want the person to come back. Then you fold the paper, and once you fold the paper, put it, uh, dip it inside original honey. Dip it inside original honey. Now, if you don't have uh, original honey, dip it inside the coconut uh, oil, not water the coconut oil. Look at the coconut oil that is original and then dip inside. After you dip inside, all of the paper everywhere, fold it and dip inside and then put the paper inside this shell. Put the paper inside the shell and hold the shell and make your prayers. Oh God, you give me this person to live with me uh, all the days of my life. And it came to pass because of many things that happened, controversial and many dis misunderstanding, the person deleted my life. He left me. I want the person to come back. It is your will for us to live together. Till death we part. We part. Father, do it and I believe it. It was done in Jesus' name. Once you do that, make prayer and keep it. I want to give you, somebody was telling me, hey, why are you putting numbers? Numbers are very important. Numbers are very important. Even God works with numbers. You are going to pray the first day, you keep it. The second day, you keep it. The third day, you keep it. And then the fourth day, you keep it up to seven days. Now, the seventh day now, after you keep it, the seventh number is a perfect number. So the eighth day is a new beginning number. It's a new chapter. The eight stands for a new chapter. It stands for a new beginning. So what you are going to do, you are going to take that uh, shell on the eighth day and go inside your house at the door of your house. Dig at the door of your house and bury this uh, shell at the door of your house outside, okay, at the entrance. After you do that, the person that left you, they will call you, they will work hard, they will make sure that they return. So whether it's a woman that left or is a man that left, that is the process you can do to bring the person back to relationship. That is number one. Another second point I said about uh, uh, if uh, the person is threatening, the person is threatening to uh, divorce you or part with you or break up with you and you don't want that to happen, you can use the same strategy. Write the name of the person and your name and write this information that you will never leave me so and so my husband or my wife, you will never leave me until we died, until death part, part we, we do part, or until Jesus comes. You will never leave me. So you write that information uh, on the same paper and you dip it inside the coconut oil and the, the, the honey, original honey, and then put it inside and do the same. 
do the same for the first day, the second day, the third day, okay, the fourth day, and the fifth day. When the person you do that, the person is still living with you, but you people, you are like you are being threatened anytime you can be divorced, whether you are a man or you are a woman. So within these seven days that you are praying with this thing, due timing of the place where the person will step, you need to do timing of the person that is threatening to leave you. So you that you are doing this recipe, you do timing of the other partner. So when the partner step on a place, collect the soil from the place where they have uh, stepped. Make sure that it should be within seven days that you are making this prayer every day. So collect the soil and then put inside this shell together. And on the eighth day, bar it again. And say, you will never leave me until death we part or until Jesus Christ come back. That is going to be so. The person will complain, the person will do anything, but they will never leave you. That is how you can secure your marriage. God had divorce. And those of you that you cannot have, you don't have grace to live together, and grow together old, I want to advise you, is a very frustrating if you break up and if you have a children. That is a starting point of scattering your family. So I want to encourage you, you can keep that if you cannot have, you don't have that grace. Like other people have the grace to live together without doing anything. God made them like that. Now, if your case is not okay and you have given birth, you don't want to leave your beloved one. That is what you do. Now, the last point is about the man who is your boss or a woman who is your boss, but is an arrogant man. Is a man that he doesn't respect the workers, a man that doesn't value the workers, a man that returns to suck you, a man that is planning to suck you without any cause. You are doing good, but the return is evil. You are doing good, but return is negative. Now, such a person, you, you, you are going to do this recipe, you have to be very careful because some of them are also into spirituality. Some of them have prepared themselves. If you do such a recipe, it may bounce back to them. So you must understand the person and the spiritual level of the person for you to do this. So what are you going to do? You are going to follow the same process. Write the name of your boss and then write your name. And now collect the soil also where the person has stepped within the period of seven days after you have started. And then you drop inside and pray over it that the person will never suck you. That's where you get your bread, earning bread. And you have not done any error or any mistake that is worthy to be sucked. If there is any controversial problems that are coming because of people, jealousy or envy, it should not reach to the level for you to be sacked. So you bind the person together and you do timing when the person is not there. Look at the place where you are doing the work. If you are doing the work in the office, you bury that thing at the door of the office. If you are doing the work within the uh, a company, you have to locate the same place and then you are going to bury this thing around that place. That by doing that, make sure you dig a small and you bury it. Nobody should see you. That, how you can secure that is a permanent thing. You pray, you fast, you do many things, and the person will never uh, suck you. They will never divorce you. They will never uh, leave you alone. They will come back to life. They will come back to you, and they will continue living with you. It is your lover, it is your husband who is threatening, your wife who is running away. It is your boss who is threatening to suck you. That's what you can do. God bless you. God bless you as you subscribe to this channel. Like my videos and follow my videos. Instagram, we are there. Facebook chat page, I'm there. And email, you can send a message on email. Global Solution for All Mankind on Facebook page. Kingdom Champion Ministry at gmail.com. Uh, you can call us on a video or you can call us on a, on a uh, WhatsApp, uh, any chat. We are ready. 
to answer you. You are welcome. Share my videos and like them and wait and we meet again at the point of the next video. Bye bye and the Lord bless you.